everyone. Thanks. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just start with also saying that um, I think it's really good to see that the values are really shared, whether depending on what style of art you're doing within the whole realm, that we all come from a similar space, despite cultures, um, whether you're French or whether you're from Singapore. I grew up here, but moved to France, originally Irish family and everything. But m all of our interests and values are also in being able to express yourself, but also having meaning behind the art that actually it is a vehicle. We all use it as a vehicle for messages. You know, the messages are different, but they still come from a space of wanting to talk about um, something that's different than what we think the society is saying to everybody, always on, on a daily basis. So, um, we'll give you a bit of an intro into Mathieu and I, um, and then also what sort of work we do, because it's um, each of us have our own uh, ways of being able to express ourselves. Um, Mathieu and I met about six years ago. Our backgrounds are pretty different in terms of, uh, I was really influenced, I left Singapore and went to Australia and was really influenced by uh, less the whole um, uh, states and the letters and much more by stencil art um, and very much political stencil art in Australia. Um, in Melbourne, the scene was really in the beginning of, the, uh, of 2000 was really growing. Um, and a lot of yeah, youngsters were getting out and just doing lots of censoring, doing writing, but really um, quite focused on uh, alternative culture and being able to express yourself through that. Um, Matcha's background is very much in France and a lot more to do at about 15, starting with um, graffiti. Maybe you want to give it a little? Yeah. Uh, graffiti and art school and after fine art school and just going on to put up residencies and just staying with the paint. So his maybe his approach is also a bit different in the sense that um, Matches never really focused on letters and much more on texture and color work and working also with a crew but who focus uh, as a collective on uh, really doing pieces that are much more about um, looking at the way color you can really use color so focusing a lot on being able to do walls in the daytime and also yeah being able to focus on how great the color can be and the textures and more abstract i guess than most uh, um, street artists so uh our background is really um such and in we met each other uh, in in France at uh, collective spaces. So I think that what's also important to a lot of uh, artists is being able to have spaces where they can come together and collaborate and be able to find this language that they share as a crew or as two people. So originally, Mathieu and I met in uh, a residency that they put up or a big warehouse that um, eight artists who were all part of the same crew came together, a collective, and created a space where a lot of other artists could also come um, so I think the time being able to be in one physical space, um, whether it's a residence in the sense that we all live there or whether you're using it as a, a space, like all these guys are now in a residence in, in Singapore, is really important to being able to find a collective language, and being able to spend all that time together to actually come, um, come together. Uh, where we were was in, in the Pyrenees in France, so uh, near to, not so far from Toulouse, really amazing landscape. Um, I guess that we both come from also living in cities, but being able to get out of the cities and practice your art also means that your focus becomes maybe more uh, towards nature and having that kind of a bit more freedom within um, the language of what you're focusing on. So in terms of influences, um, yeah, our connection with Asia comes from both of us having uh, quite an interest in calligraphy. Um, but also in the way in which the language of, uh, of Chinese art or Asian art. But then when you look at the type of artwork, maybe this is Swoon, a really well-known uh, street artist uh, who focuses a lot on yeah, cutouts, but also really the use of patterns, uh, a lot of feminine uh, elements to it, um, but also the whole contrast. So um, Hirakut is another couple, so the, the whole discussion about how do you work together with other people, whether you're a collective or working uh, as a pair, is really about dialogue and about finding out what it is that both of you do and what you do best and being able to share and collaborate on that and talk through it. So Hirakut is a, a couple, a German couple, um, yeah, who both bring out the best of what they do. And like we were saying, you know, it's got messages in it, it all has meanings, um, things that you're trying to communicate with with people um, through the streets. 
basically. Matthew and I find that uh, by uh, moving, by going to different places, we're really put into contact with different things that are going on and also get a lot of inspiration. Um, so we first left France together and we went to India and um, I think we really find our inspiration through people and place and through discussing um, maybe people who are not uh, focused on by popular culture or by media, commercial culture and being able to, not so much this image, um, but being able to tap into things that we think are showing real life and showing that what a lot of people actually live with daily and also you know, pride within that. It's not about going, okay, this is all oh, misery of people's lives. It's really about focusing on, um, yeah, different styles of life and different pride within it. So, for instance, this woman in India who, you know, daily life is um, is crushing stones every day um, is really kind of channeling into that's the existence of a lot of people. But this is what we think is a really interesting to focus on. We spent quite a lot of time in Australia as well. Um, went to the centre of Australia to around uh, Alice Springs and things and obviously the condition of uh, indigenous culture in Australia is something that's pretty um, intense. So being able to focus our art uh, on uh, the lives of a lot of um, people in, in Australia. This is uh, actually underneath a bridge in uh, Darwin and is even the scene of a, of a film that was focusing on um, indigenous culture and the, the hard uh, life that a lot of them have there because of colonization, but also the realities of modern day life and in terms of um, the way in which uh, drugs and alcohol and feeling depression towards uh, their situation within the culture of, uh, of Australia. So we try and focus on that um, and really uh, bring it out, but in subtle ways so that there's no overt uh, what's right or what's wrong. It's just about being able to focus on different people in different ways. This is in Bristol. Um, so we went to uh, England and different places and really, again, Singapore trying to focus on the back streets of Singapore or focus on different areas, um, different um, places that like, we find interesting and really showcase a little bit more what Singapore is about. In terms of technique, we, uh, I came with the, the stencil um, and Mathieu, of course, the freehand, and we try and really meld those together and make it um, so that they both um, bring out the best in each other, um, especially in the street art. The street art is really where um, the freehand can really um, be much more uh, a part of it in terms of a canvas. Like uh, Congo was saying, canvases are a completely different um, approach. We do do quite a lot of work on canvas and the stencil, because of how much detail you can get, is really um, easy to do on, on canvas, but uh, freehand requires space, a lot of space. So um, the, they're quite different, I guess. And at the same time, when we get out onto the, the streets, then the, the whole use of, of the spray can can actually be seen really well. Um, when I was talking about values, I guess uh, this goes back to the, the meanings <laughs> behind our, our art. Um, I spent a lot of time in Australia uh, doing political activism, um, leaving Singapore and feeling like I had a lot of um, wants to, to actually create change and to do things and feeling like um, Australia provided that. They give a, there's a lot of room for people who, have, uh, who want to create positive change to actually do it. So whether it's more to do with um, deforestation uh, issues or um, social justice um, issues, a lot of that comes out in the artwork. So we still try and engage with that um, by working with NGOs or working with charities or just being able to vocalize some of the issues that maybe aren't, don't get spoken about a lot. Yeah, um, this is in Toulouse. This is a big uh, residency called Mix Art Meris. And um, they originally were a huge squat in the center of Toulouse. And um, they created so much impact in the sense of how many artists actually did interesting things and uh, really got out and created great work that they now have a huge warehouse space that the local and national government um, pays for, subsidizes. So we got a, a space there and it's about, there's about 50 over artists who are in all different disciplines who are working out of this huge warehouse 
and it's really a space where you can learn from each other and collaborate and have lots of events and everything that the public comes and joins. So we feel that really these types of residency are, are really important and a great space where people can actually you know, join together. In terms of exhibitions, originally we came back to Singapore um, to start uh, showing uh, here. We felt like we'd spent a lot of time in, in Europe and Australia but wanted to come back and try and be part of the growing changes in Singapore. Um, and in terms of the art over the years, I think that Singapore is really opening up, both on a kind of more official level, um, but also in terms of uh, collectives uh, like the Rascals doing their part and actually bringing the arts out in Singapore. Um, this is our studio in the middle of France, so also having our own space to do our own things um, is important. Collaboration, so like the, this Rojak um, event, um, we also try to do um, and collaborate with other groups, whether it's in Australia or otherwise, to bring about these kind of festivals that actually showcase artists and are able to bring the community in and get public to know more about um, street art or graffiti and to see it as what it is. Like it, Congo said, that it's really about culture and about speaking about things. It's not about um, being illegal. This is with... Um, more artists and crews that who do district shop. I'm not sure what that ZNC. ZNC in uh, in Malaysia. So this is going across to Johor and about yeah about twenty artists all painting there. And Matteo will show you the video, but this is um, our first connection with uh, Rascals Crew and with Ants was when we did a nice uh, artwork together in the skate park and did a stop motion video of it, which we, we can show. But really for us, it's a um, it's great pleasure to be able to get to know the different local artists here and to be able to see that Singapore is actually changing and that there is, you know, um, both on a ground level and in terms of the government being able to recognize this type of art as uh, what it is, rather than seeing it as something that's a, a problem. Yeah, um, as Congo was saying, we went from, I guess, uh, doing a lot on outdoors and on the walls, but also seeing this as a, if we're doing it all the time and art is um, your, what you want to do for yourself, then you also need to be able to make money with it. Um, so being able to also uh, connect uh, with, you know, this is a big restaurant in um, Rochester Park. Um, so. We like to try and keep our integrity when we're, when we're doing uh, work with, um, whether it's with galleries or with uh, restaurants and things like that. So like for instance here, we're still doing a, a large artwork that is representative of our type of work, but it's for a, a restaurant um, and keeping in dialogue with them about what it is that they want, but what it is that we want as well. Um, that's an article in the local Chinese paper here. Mm -hmm the Singapore French Photography Award. Yeah, so it was part of the Singapore French Photography Award um, that we were one of the selected artists for uh, recently that was at the Arts Alliance Francaise. And on the horizon, we have a nice map of uh, Southeast Asia uh, because we think that for us, um, it's really where, where we see lots of um, interest in being and being able to connect with other people in Southeast Asia and also seeing that somewhere like Singapore is probably a great place to be bringing them together and to be uh, getting artists from all around the region to come together and to showcase. And What's that? That's about it.